I dreamed about the house I grew up in. It's nighttime in the dream, and I must tell you this home was covered in windows and sliding glass doors. In the beginning, the dream feels warm and safe. The curtains are drawn, I'm with my family in the well-lit living room, and we're talking and laughing and having a great time. Mom pauses and looks at me. It's time to take your medicine. I walk into the adjacent kitchen and reach into the medicine cabinet. I open the lid and take the pill, and something on the bottle catches my eye. The bottle reads, May cause window stalking. I drop the bottle and look out into the dark night through the sliding glass door out the back of the kitchen. There's a man outside, smiling. He isn't moving, he isn't blinking, just smiling. I try to scream, but I can't. The pill is stuck in my throat. The man just keeps smiling. I haven't seen him move, but his smile is somehow bigger, and he's somehow standing closer to the door than before. I want to run, but I'm frozen in place. I can't stop looking at him. Can't stop seeing him. Mom, I manage. I feel like I'm screaming, but the words carry no weight. Dad, anyone. I try one more time to muster my voice. Help. I hear footsteps coming my way. From the corner of my eye, I see figures rushing in. It's my mom and family. The fugue state ends, and I'm standing there stupefied in front of the sliding glass door, staring out into nothing but darkness on the other side, pills scattered on the floor. Once I calm down, I try to tell them what happened, tell them about the smiling man on the other side of the door. My dad reaches over and disengages the lock, and slides the door open. I feel my stomach drop and a chill works its way over me. I can feel his eyes on me somewhere in the distance. Close the door, he's out there. I'm not just making this up, he's still out there. Just come back into the living room, we were having such a good night. Forget about it and come join us again. I return to the living room with my family, seemingly soothed just to leave the kitchen and step away from the windows and sliding glass doors of the kitchen. The living room still has a warm glow about it, and I'm happy to be with people. Safety in numbers. I begin to re-engage with my family. We slip back into conversation. I feel so safe and happy, and my mood swings back to a pleasant place. I'm sitting with my dad on the couch opposite my mother and sister. Their black hair pops against the cream curtains. And suddenly... I can't help but focus on the window behind my mother and sister, behind the couch. I fix my gaze between the two curtains, filling the space between them, bathed in warm light. There's a dark void, filled by the black of the outside night. Occupying that void is the man with the smile. I can't see his whole face, only a sliver is showing. Only a couple rows of his exposed, smiling teeth, and one eye, opened wide and staring right back at me. I get up from the seat and begin to walk slowly towards the window. I push my way between my mother and sister, and gain even more traction closer to the window. I slowly inch closer and closer to the pane of glass. It's like I'm floating towards it, but my movements are slow. His stare through the window intensifies and beckons me closer. The window grows larger and larger as I get closer and closer. The man with the smile is still smiling, somehow bigger than ever. His eye, the one I can see, is still open wide, somehow wider than before. I'm caught in his stare. What are you doing? my dad asks from the couch. I glance back. My mom and sister are staring dully at me, mute and immune to the situation at hand. Turning back towards the window, 
I open the curtains in one smooth motion. The smiling man is just outside the window, his hand now placed delicately on the glass, his smile larger than ever, his eyes open wider than ever. He's staring right at me. He leans his forehead onto the glass, never averting his gaze. Vacantly, I hear my mom behind me. Honey, there's nothing there. 